uh, seeing him trade up, I had, a, I had a pretty good feeling that it could be me. And um, yeah, I couldn't be more honored for them to uh, make that decision to, to get me. So, yeah. did you think the Wild were interested? Uh, yeah, I knew uh, we, we had some good conversations. Um, nothing too crazy, but um, definitely knew there was there was some interest there. You won a national title in the building that you've called home for a couple of years. What does that mean to you? Be back in that building with the Wild. Yeah, it's awesome. I think it's uh, super cool. We won the uh, NCHC championship as well there, so um, to win two championships in that building already feels uh, feels really good. Steve, what part of your game feels most NHL ready? What are you looking to improve on in all season? I think obviously I want to improve on everything. I'm still young, can, can still improve on everything. Um, you know, I want to work on my consistency defensively, but um, I think the biggest thing is for me is my hockey IQ is probably the, the biggest thing that will translate uh, the best. So that's probably uh, the biggest thing. Yeah. At the youth clinic, we talked about you coming into the program in the USHL and having to grind to become that power play guy. How are you going to use that experience in the USHL now that you're the new guy in Minnesota? Yeah, I'm just going to come to, you know, obviously go there and um, have the same mentality that i got to work for everything and earn every opportunity. So, um, you know, for me, I'm going to I'm gonna continue to, to do what I do best and um, you know, just, just work as hard as I can. What's that like for you? You know, family reaction, you know, brother, um, you've been here before as the little brother. What was it like now being uh, It just felt so special. I mean, um, you know, to hug my mom, hug my dad. Um, they, made, they made so many sacrifices for, for my brothers and I, and um, you know, to hug them was, was so special. And then to hug my two brothers who mentored me this entire time, um, you know, feels even better. So it's a uh, it's a moment that I can't fully explain, but it was uh, it was awesome. Steve, you said that you had an eighty family members coming. Yeah, eight, well, not from Israel, okay. but uh, we have like a, a couple from Israel, and then. Um, a lot of uh, just friends and family that, that came to support me, so very, very fortunate and grateful that they uh, that they came out. Excel Energy Center, like you said, it's been a very successful uh, yeah. <laughs> ice rink for you. Chance to make some memories. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully that uh, it keeps on going. Yeah. What, what else do you know about Minnesota? Uh, I spent two years at, at Shattuck St. Mary's at the Faribault, Minnesota. So um, I spent a whole summer at Lake Minnetonka as well. So. I love Lake Minnetonka. Um, I'd rather spend time there than on the beach in California. So, um, yeah, super pumped to be in Minnesota Wild. Did you go to a bunch of Wild games when you were at Shattuck? Uh, we went to like a couple. Um, Any time we could, we could, I would, I would try to go, but uh, not too many. What, what does David Paul mean to you at uh, What does he mean to you? Yeah, everything. I think for me, he's, he's the best coach I've ever had, um, the best coach of college hockey, and. Uh, you know, he's going to be a great coach at NHL one day. So uh, he's meant so much to me and, and my brother and my family and I. So, uh, yeah, I'm so grateful for him. Did you catch much of Ron Baker's rookie season? That would be thought about, maybe playing with him one day. I know it's really right here. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be awesome. I think that would be uh, something I, I could dream about. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's obviously a stud and uh, such a great player. So, um, yeah, it would be, uh, be awesome. When you were at the first board, did you skate at all at Trevor? Their practice facility, or was that? Or did you always skate at XL for uh, practices and stuff? For the front during. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. We just uh, we skate at the XL. Okay, but not their practice right? Yeah. Okay. You, you'll be at a development camp. Uh, yes, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, were you a bunch of defensemen in this draft? Right? So you talked to Sam. You get to know some of the other draft prospects. What was it like to kind of be in the draft? You know, there's five or six of these defensemen that are high profile. What's that like kind of watching as you know that teams are looking for your position or I think for me, I'm not really looking at that. I just, um, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for the team that wants me for who I am as a person and player. And, um, you know, I'm very fortunate that the, the Minnesota Wild were, uh, you know, fortunate enough to, to pick me. And, um, you know, so I'm very grateful for that. And that was the biggest thing I was looking for. How did you get into hockey? I, yeah, I had a cousin, uh, Gilad, who uh, played just five minutes down the road. And uh, my older brother, Shy Guy, eventually got into it. And uh, then my older brother, Ben, and then, you know, being a little brother, kind of just tag along. So, um, yeah, we all... We kind of just started playing for fun, and obviously the better we got, the more serious we took it.